Yes, good morning, students. Welcome to your English grammar class. In the previous class, we had started with verbs, and in that, we completed with transitive verbs, intransitive verbs. What are transitive? What are intransitive? And we also uh, completed with modal auxiliary verbs, regular and irregular verbs, and also auxiliary verbs. So just a quick recap of what we have done in the previous class. So, what are verbs? Verbs are nothing but the word which denotes action and expresses a state. It is called as a verb. So, in simple words, we say action words are called as verbs. And that we learned about transitive and intransitive verbs. Transitive verbs wherein the action is received by the object that is the action which is transferred to an object that is called as a transitive verb and intransitive verb is what wherein the action is limited it is not transferred to the object so in every sentence we have been learning that there is a subject and there is a object subject is who the doer of the action the one who performs the action. Uh, an example of transitive verb, the teacher writes on the blackboard. The teacher is the doer, that which is performing the action, right? And she is writing, that is the verb, the action which is being done by the teacher. And where is she writing? She is writing on the blackboard. So the action what the teacher is doing, that is being transferred on the blackboard. So that is the object. So this kind of sentence is called as a transitive. If it is only written, the teacher writes or the teacher is writing. That means writing is stopped there only. There is no object where the action is being transferred. So such sentences we see it is an intransitive. Okay. We learned about Model verbs, for example, may, might. Model verbs, may, might, should, can, could, shall. So these are all model auxiliary verbs. And what are auxiliary verbs? Now, for those who have not understood, what are auxiliary verbs? Once again, I am explaining to all of you. Auxiliary verbs. Okay. Now, for example, if I write here, for example, let us take do or be, did, have, Okay, these are what? These are nothing but it is an auxiliary verb that adds the function or the grammatical meaning to the sentence or to the clause in which it occurs. That means what? This, these words do, be, did, have, these are all called the auxiliary verbs. Why do we say? Because they add the functional or grammatical meaning to the clause in which it occurs or in which it expresses the tenses. In which tense it is? Did. It is in past tense. Do. It is in present tense. Have. It is in again past participle. Past perfect. Has. Sorry. Have. Present perfect. Has. Present perfect. 
and past perfect. So it tells us about in which tense the sentence is. Okay, it is a uh, usually verb used in an infinitive verb or the participle. I will give you a small example of auxiliary verbs. Okay, we'll come to know easily then. What is the meaning of auxiliary verbs? For example, here he had gone he had gone to market yesterday now see here your gone is already a verb but it is added with one more auxiliary verb that is had if i just clean this this is missing he gone to market yesterday is it makes a complete sense no it doesn't make any sense so you have to add a auxiliary verb to make this sentence meaningful and it's going to tell you in which tense it has been given so here we write he had he had gone to market yesterday again one more example i shall give you about auxiliary verbs just a minute Okay, she should have booked her ticket. See ya. She should have booked her ticket. You are see have booked. Booked is already a verb, but here we have added with the auxiliary verb have. That means it tells us in which tense it is. It is in present perfect tense. When we use has and have, it is in present perfect. When we use had, it is in past perfect tense. Got it? Now we shall see a few examples so that you can understand it easily. From your textbook, I mean the pull out practice paper, open to page number two hundred three. Children, open to page number two hundred and three. There are few exercises. We shall solve those, and then you will understand it better. By the party, please mute yourself. I don't want anyone. disturbing the class okay the first sentence it is given see here father dash and he go and meet him go and meet him okay this is a sentence which is given i'll just adjust the blackboard one minute yes father dash and we go and meet him so here you have to fill in the blanks with a suitable auxiliary verb so what is the answer you want to write here Has everybody opened the full on practice paper book for me? Uh, page number two, not three, two hundred three. Everybody has opened. Okay, quickly tell me the answer. What do you want to write here? Yes. If you want to know which are the auxiliary verbs, 
Open to page number 199 from the same pull out practice paper which we have already done earlier. Just for your revision, see there which all are the auxiliary verbs. The verb be form is, am, are, was, were. Then we have have, has, have, had. Then we have do form, do, does, did. These all are the auxiliary verbs which come before the main verb. As I told you, he had gone to the market. Gone is the main verb. And had came before the main verb. So always auxiliary verbs come before the main verb. Yes? Somebody has given the answer. Is. Correct. Father is angry. Go and meet him. Correct. What's wrong with Viper? I'm going to put you out of the class, Viper. Mute yourself. And even Anand. Anand Vaidavkar. Yagnik, I guess. The last morning, okay? See the next sentence. He dash unhappy as he was in. Yes. What is the answer? Was. Very good. He was unhappy as he was in. Correct. The next one. She dash done her homework. Yes. She dash done her homework. See, done is the main verb here. Now, whatever I want to write will be the auxiliary verb. Okay. So, tell me now quickly. Has. Very good. Has. She has done her homework. The next one. After he dash gone, it began to rain. It began to rain. Yes. What is the answer? Quickly, uh, Sumit. Yes. Hi. Very good. See here, you can see here the main verb getting angry action. This is the auxiliary verb. Unhappy. This is the auxiliary verb. Done. Gone. These are the main verbs. And auxiliary verbs have come before the main verb. Okay. The next one. See the next sentence. What is there in your textbook? One minute. Yes, the next one, that is the fifth one, we dash quite upset when he dash not come by 4 p.m. Yes, there are two blanks here. We dash quite upset when we dash not come 4 p.m. What is the correct answer to here? Word. Very good. 
we were quite upset when we not had when we did not did when we did not come by 4 pm the sixth one dash sorry you done your homework yes dash you done your homework correct very good have have you done your homework yes so is this clear children did you understand when we have to use the auxiliary verbs and which are the auxiliary verbs once again i just repeat auxiliary verbs are be form as is are am was were then we have again have has had and do form we have did do does okay and remember that auxiliary verbs always come before the main verbs you can see the main verbs here all auxiliary verbs have come before the main verb so i hope you all have understood the concept about auxiliary verbs any doubts any doubts children in this quickly just type in the chat box and tell yes no okay fine then quickly we will go to the exercise number b the remaining ones i think so only four exercises are remaining that you can do it for your homework about auxiliary verbs we have solved six all together there are 10 remaining four you can do it for your homework we will go to the next that is complete these sentences with transitive verbs given in the bracket page number 202 go for that page number 202 exercise b who is joining now so late Yes. What is the question which is given there? It is told complete these sentences with transitive verbs given in the bracket. Complete these sentences. With what? Transitive verbs. Okay, the first one. See there. Each one of you. Each one of you. Dash. they have given the verb there ran so you have to make use of that verb which they have given but in a correct form you need to complete the sentence anybody by verb yes Can anyone tell me the first one? Each one of you, you have to make use of the word ran. Yes, you can use run also, but there should be what now? We are using transitive verbs, so there should be a object. Yes, 
when you are using a transitive verb there should be an object in the sentence so first one i'll do it for you each one of you run towards the gate or you can write pool or you can write garden anything okay so see each one of you run towards the gate your gate pool garden classroom school anything there is an object run is a verb so the action is transferred to the object here any type of sentence any word you can use it i have just written your gate or a pool you can write towards the gate towards the pool towards the uh, swimming pool or towards your house or towards the playground anything until and unless there is a object because this verb is a transitive one in your action it has to get transferred to the object okay so see the second one now what they have given i have i have dash so what they have given what is the verb they have given they have given posted they have given posted yes very good i have posted the letter absolutely i have posted the letter or i have posted the rakhi anything you can say now so posted is a verb this action is transferred where you are giving see the object letter if you say i have posted but there is no object here so it is an intransitive verb but i have posted the letter that gives us a transitive verb so go to the next one the third one girls it is given sang okay it is given sang as a verb so what am i to write here tell me girls sang a song okay girls sang a song or even you can write girls are singing on the stage okay anything girls sang a song sang here is a verb song is a object the same thing you can use in the present continuous tense girls are singing where they are singing they are singing on the stage here is an object got it so both are correct sang a song or are singing on the stage then the next one the fourth one all of us all of us in the bracket they have given the verb new all of us were knowing about the car okay very good all of us are knowing about this car you can write all of us knew this boy all of us are knowing about the story about the movie anything you can write all of us knew about him or know about him correct okay so see here all of us are knowing present uh, continuous tense this action is transferred on the object that is the car here the next one the fifth one the naughty child the naughty child and what is the verb which is given there broke yes the naughty child what did the child do 
broke the broke which language is this broke you can either say broke his toy or you can say the naughty child has broken his toy has broken his pencil has broken the glass vase anything you can say okay you can use has broken broke don't use broke broke is a wrong english word correct so the naughty child broke his toy the next one the sixth one he came there is a mistake there they have written we it's with he came with dash it's given we it's with he came with with what with sheets of paper or he came with okay there's a word which is given there light no so we have to make use of this let me find he came with a tube light right so came and your tube light is an object so action is transferred to the object the next one seventh sima will dash and in bracket is given right sima will sima will be writing okay you can say sima will write the letter or sima will be writing the letter everything so will be writing your future continuous tense and your letter is the object so sima will be writing a letter the last two uh, sorry eighth one not the last one the x man dash fell you can either use the word fell or you can either use make or uh, i mean you can either make use of present perfect or a past perfect tense here you can say has fallen the x man has fallen from the tree okay or the x man fell from the building or he fell from the mountain or a hill anything you can say until and there is a object here so the x man has fallen from the tree the next the ninth one will you dash it's given raise will you yes will you raise your question or will you raise your hand we say no when you are giving answers in chorus in the class will you please raise your hand so will you raise your hand the next all of a sudden he dash is given gave out all of a sudden he gave out what will be the uh, this year blank of gave out anyone suddenly fail fall no fall is wrong fail fall fell fallen you don't use word as fall it is wrong don't use wrong uh, words children don't use wrong words so what is the last one now all of a sudden he gave out a cry from his seat or from the window okay anything you 
can say all of a sudden he gave out a cry from the window so here we complete all the 10 exercises from page number 202 quickly we will go to exercise a from the same page take exercise a quickly we will do that and then go to the next so i hope you have understood now what is the meaning of transitive and intransitive verb by solving these 10 exercises yes or no any difficulty in this transitive and intransitive okay the first one here see we have given point out which are transitive point out verbs that is transitive and intransitive So you have to read the sentences and tell me from the given sentences which are transitive and which are intransitive. So here we go to the first one. When you are reading, see that the, uh, that the sentence is having the verb and then the action which is being done by the doer of the sentence. The subject that action is been transferred to the uh, sorry it's, it's been transferred to the object. Then only we can say it is a transitive. If the action is not transferred, it is been stopped there. That time we say it is intransitive. So, <coughs> excuse me. The first one, give me your pen. What is uh, the sentence here? Whether it is transitive or intransitive, quickly children. Yes, the verb is give. Correct. What is it? Transitive or intransitive? Transitive. Very good. Yes. Transitive. Because the action that is giving the pen, I mean giving, it is transferred to the pen, that is the object of the sentence which has been given there. Give me your pen. The next one, that is the second one. The bubble has burst. Where is the verb here? Where is the verb? Burst. Very good. Which type of sentence is this? It is intransitive. Very good. In. Intransitive. Because the word burst, it is stopped there only. The action is stopped. It is not transferred to any object. So it is intransitive. The third one, we feel chiefly on wheat and rice. Where is the verb here, children? Where is the verb? We feed chiefly on wheat and rice. Feed. Yes, very good. Is the action transferred to any object there? What are the objects there? Wheat and rice. So, here we call it as transitive. The next slide four. Have you forgotten my name? Where is the verb here? Forgotten. Very good. What is it? It is transitive because it is having an object. Transitive. The next one. The baby broke the toy. 
Where is the verb here? Correct. Very good. Draw and it is a transitive because toy is a object. The next. She spoke in a rude manner. She spoke in a rude manner. Spoke. Verb. Is there a verb there? I mean, is there an object there? There is no object. So it is intransitive. Okay, it is intransitive. Yes. The next. She always spoke the truth. Here also, spoke is a verb. The speaking is transferred to what? The truth. That is, it is transitive. The next, eighth one. Birds are flying in the sky. What is the verb here? Yes, very good. Flying. Where are the birds flying? In the sky. So the object. So this is transitive. Yes. Ninth one. The sun has set. Where? We don't know. There is no object there. We know that the sun has set. Set is a verb. So we don't know the object. So it is intransitive. And then our last one. The fire is burning in the oven. Which is a verb here? Burning. Very good. Burning is the verb. Where it is burning? The object is what? Oven. So it is transitive. Yes. So we have covered three exercises today from page number. 202 and page number 203 that is exercise A 10 sentences, exercise B 10 sentences and exercise C 6 to 7 sentences we have covered. The last four you have to for your homework and from the same page from page number 203 exercise B you can go for the homework and there we complete with the chapter verbs. So I hope you all have followed what are verbs, transitive and transitive verbs, model verbs, main verbs and auxiliary verbs. Yes children, any difficulty in the chapter verbs? Yes? Okay, that means you all have followed what is being taught. So please solve the remaining exercise which is there on page number 203. And the remaining sentences also from exercise C. In the next class, we shall go for few more exercises or we shall go for the new topic. If you have any doubts, if you have any queries, please let me know in the next class so that we can get it clarified. Right? So here we stop with our today's class and this is the end of the chapter verbs. Okay? Thank you all of you.